Hey, good evening, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. It's Saturday, September 21st. Fall starts tomorrow. Another sign of God's faithfulness to us, by faithfully keeping the seasons. As we think about the Lord's Day tomorrow, we think about who we are as people. Sometimes we get discouraged by our failures, by difficulties, by the challenges of life. But there's a prayer that's important for us to remember. And it's a prayer that Jesus prayed. And it's a prayer for you and me. It's a beautiful prayer. It's in John 17. I don't think we talk about it enough, but you want to talk about encouragement and the joy that we can have because of what Christ has done. This is what he says here in John 17. I'm going to be reading in verse 9. He's praying to his Father. I pray for them. I'm not praying for the world. I am praying for those you have given me, for they are yours. He's not praying for the everybody in the world, just the ones that God has given him, you and me. All that I have is yours, and all you have is mine. See, only Jesus can make that statement. He says, and the glory has come, and glory has come to me through them, through the ones that Jesus came to save. The honor of God has come to him. I remain in the world no longer. Again, remember the setting here. This is in John 17. It's in the upper room just before he's taken out for to be tried and, and cruci crucified. But this is that night, this last night on earth. And he says, I remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world. And I am coming to you, Holy Father. Protect them by the power of your name. That, that's all that all the ones that God has claimed, all the ones that Jesus is giving to the Father. Protect them by the power of your name, the name that you gave me, so that they be, may be one as we are one. See, Jesus is praying to his Father and saying to those that remain after he's gone, He's calling out to the Father to protect them by the power of his great name, the name that, I, that you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. So, God answers the prayers of his Son. And Jesus is pleading, praying for you and me to be protected by God. Maybe not protected from the stuff of this world and the challenges that are here, but to protect you because we are one with God. No one can take us away from him. He says that earlier in John, in John 10, but he repeats it now. He's calling out to God to protect those that Jesus has secured. The Father answers the prayer of the Son. And the prayer of the Son is that you and I will be protected so that we can remain one with God. Nothing can shatter that unity. That's what Jesus is praying for. If Christ prays for something, we can be sure 1,000% sure that it's a prayer God's going to answer. It's the most righteous of all prayers. And he's praying to God to care for you and me, to protect us, so that when, no matter what happens to us, no matter what challenges we face, no matter what difficulties we come across in this world, Jesus has prayed that our unity with God will never be broken. And he's calling upon the Father to honor what Jesus has done to protect those 
the Christ is one. Listen carefully. I pray for them. I'm not praying for the world, but for those you have given to me, for they are yours. He's given them to Christ. They belong to the Father. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine. And glory has come to me through them. Jesus, when he is going to die on the cross, secure the honor of God, and we're safe. I remain, in, I remain in the world no longer. He's going to be gone. But they are still in the world. And I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name. The name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. By the very character of God, you and I are secure. By this prayer of Jesus for us. Brothers and sisters, it doesn't get any better than that. We are secure. This night, think about Jesus. Think about his prayer. Realize that God answers the prayer of his son. And you and I are secure because the Father will protect us and bring us home. Maybe a rough ride here on earth, but he's going to bring us home. And nothing can stop that because Jesus prayed for it. What a huge comfort and blessing this is. Look at these passages in John 17. And just such a joy. Look forward to talking with you on Monday. Again, love your thoughts and feedback. Don't let the world rob this from you. Be secure in the promise and prayer of Christ. If you have a great day tomorrow, bye-bye.